Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Longtime viewers may remember one of my very early videos from way, way back in 2020, the Motorized Canoe Project. Now this was one of the first videos I did as a YouTube channel, or as an attempt to be a maker or content creator. I had dabbled around with videos before, I had some other random stuff, but this was the first one I really did for an audience, and kind of set off the Save It For Parts YouTube channel as a video spin-off of my website, SaveItForParts.com. Now the project in question was a old, damaged, smashed up canoe that somebody had illegally dumped in the parking lot at my work. Now I can't condone illegal dumping. It's messy, it's gross, it damages the environment, it damages other people's property when you go leaving your trash around. Don't do that. There are plenty of good ways to get rid of unwanted things. If it's even potentially useful in any way, there's always Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, you can give it away. Now fortunately, these idiots that dumped the canoe had no idea what they were sitting on. They thought all it was was an old, beat-up, worthless boat with the back end missing. I saw it as an opportunity. I dragged that thing home, I refiberglassed the stern, I put a little weed whacker engine in it, modified the shaft, put a little prop on the end, built a steering system, did some seats, basically turned the thing into a fully working motorized little canoe. I think I spent very little money fixing it up. I already had the weed whacker, I paid like $5 for the propeller, I may have paid like $20 or something for the fiberglass resin, but I think I already had a bunch of the fiberglass cloth sitting around. So essentially I spent almost no money getting this thing from garbage into a working watercraft. I threw the video up on the Save It For Parts YouTube channel and honestly it was kind of a terrible video. I talked really, really slowly, I was really awkward, I didn't know how to do my cuts or my edits, but as with my recent boost in popularity on YouTube, the algorithm grabbed it, took off with it, and a bunch of people watched the stupid thing. I followed up with a couple other videos showing my test runs of the boat, some attempts at improving the performance, tweaking it, tuning it up. It never really worked very well, it really wasn't a great project. I ended up selling that boat to some kids on Craigslist who were going to rip out my weed whacker engine and put a lawnmower engine in it. I never heard from them again. Hopefully they survived the whole ordeal, but who knows? Maybe that boat is still out there somewhere. Maybe it's on someone else's YouTube channel by now. So I don't normally go around publishing my YouTube statistics, my income, my analytics, all that stuff. It really varies from person to person how much you make on a channel like this. A lot of people think, oh, I'm up to 100,000 views, I must be making a living on this. No, not really. Every now and then when I get a little bump in traffic, um, I get a little bit of extra spending money, which I usually go out and blow immediately on weird junk on auction websites or surplus sales. But in general, this YouTube thing isn't a steady income of any sort. That being said, I do want to share uh, some analytics about the Weed Whacker Canoe video, again, because this was one of the first videos I did. I didn't really expect it to get popular. And yet here a couple years later, it looks like this on the analytics page. So between those three videos I made about the Weed Whacker Canoe, I've made over $2,500. And that's all the ad revenue from YouTube. That's when you get those ads at the beginning of the video, for every thousand ads it shows, it pays me like $5 or something. So again, it's not like a serious huge lump of income, but with enough people watching a video like this, eventually it adds up to a little bit of money. I also think it's kind of funny and a little sad that whoever illegally dumped this canoe in my work parking lot was throwing away $2,500. They were taking something that could have made them potentially a couple paychecks worth of money and just leaving it on the ground in someone else's property. I don't know if they just didn't have enough imagination to know how to turn it into something, if they didn't have the patience to fix it. Obviously they must have been pretty lazy if they just wanted to dump it there rather than take it somewhere legitimate or try to give it away. And again, that's pretty sad. This is a boat that still had life left in it with a little fixing. I got plenty of use out of it. The people I sold it to got some use out of it, I assume. So yeah, just a complete waste to throw something like that away. And yes, our American society is all about waste. You're not supposed to spend your time on fiddly little projects. You're not supposed to keep or hoard trash. You're just supposed to throw everything away, go out to the store, go online, buy more stuff, buy more stuff, spend your money, get that economy going, make a bunch more profit for those CEOs so they can buy their 13th yacht. Yeah, it's kind of silly. Meanwhile, the landfills are filling up, the woods are filling up with illegally dumped stuff, the oceans are filling up with plastic trash, and we're just a disposable society, which again is just completely opposite of the way I grew up, the way I try to live my life, and the way I try to run this channel. It may look like I'm having a lot of fun with the channel, building stupid things out of trash, saving money, 
And yes, I am, but I also like to think that I'm recycling, that I'm helping show other people how they can get a little bit more use of, out of that device or object or vehicle that other people might think is trash. I know some people have asked if I'll sell them some projects like Tuggy or the railroad speeders or whatnot, and with some of those, I'm not quite ready to get rid of it yet. I'm still using it. With other things, well, my quality of uh, build isn't quite good enough where I don't quite feel comfortable just yet giving that away or selling it. I kind of forgot where I was going with this video. This started out, I was going to do like a re-edit or clip show of the old motor canoe videos, try to squeeze a little more sweet, sweet advertising cash out of that other person's illegal dumping, but it's mostly just turned into me babbling about stuff as a lot of my videos do. Anyway, I hope this can be both an inspiration for folks out there who want to repurpose stuff, who are able to look at trash and figure out what to turn it into that might potentially be worth some money. I also hope it's inspiration for folks to just not buy into the disposable culture of modern American life. Don't throw things away just because they're a little old, they're a little beat up. Don't throw stuff in the landfill, and especially don't throw stuff out illegally. Don't leave it in the woods. Don't throw it in the river. Don't throw it on other people's property. Not only is that stupid, wasteful, and illegal, you might be throwing away something that's worth some money. Anyway, that's all we've got for this one. Stay tuned for plenty more videos where I turn trash into, if not treasure, then hopefully at least slightly less trashy projects. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.